What's up, YouTube? It's Core John with TTR Racing. Just here again to give you a little quick video, man, on how to maximize them clutch shoes. Um, I know a lot. I know when I first started this channel, my goal was to make just videos for the budget racer and the budget basher. So this is just a video for the uh, for that budget racer and budget basher. I know a lot of the guys that um, races that race and all the guys that bash usually use those um dynamite uh, max life clutch shoes especially the ones that runs the um uh, the bashers that run this rex number rossi rex, Le rex legend 28.8 engine a lot of those guys use those dynamite max life shoes but i know those dynamite max life shoes can get expensive i know they run from probably 15 dollars to maybe $20 a pack. So, it's just a way to, um, you can use them and um, use them, you know, more than, um, to get a longer life out of them than just your regular, um, probably about two or three, four gallon, you know, two, no, about, about, probably about five tanks, five or six tanks. You should check your shoes. Cause over time, about that five or six tank, your shoe is developed. You see this little burr right here? They develop those burrs. It's just when the aluminum wears against the clutch bell and it um, pushes the aluminum, you know, over the edge. And this can make your um, clutch shoes hang up, hang up on your, um, go hung up on your, on your flywheel. So the thing is, when you see those burrs, and if you can't get no new shoes anytime soon, you can still use the ones you have. Only thing you gotta do is you get a get a file, get a file. And I got a whole pack of put this in your RC tool tool kit, in your tool chest, or in your pit bag, or in your just get go. To, like I said, it's a place down here, down south here in Alabama. It's called Harbor Freight. And they sell these inexpensive um, 12 piece called needle file with the poly handle. So it's just a 12 pack of different sizes of files you can get. This is good to keep in your pit bag or either, like I said, in your on your um in your toolbox for your RC stuff. All on different sizes different shapes so whatever's best for you I'm using just a, a flat file so whatever one you like the best to get the job done so all thing you do is um just take your shoes and um just take your shoes and you just want to just file down file off those birds just making the shoe flat you know what I'm saying just file it down like that file them down keep file file them down until they come just file them. just get the sharp edges off just file them down become until they come smooth and flat I did this this side see that's smooth and flat and just file those down like these right here like these blue ones blue color shoes I got right here I did those previously you just want to file them down until they be flat on the edge you want to be flat on the edge like those you know so just like these right here you want to just be flat like that once you do that, and you get them flat on the edge like this, you can reuse them. You can reuse your your, your um, clutch shoes. You can get an old like, about five or six more tanks on the same shoes that your original shoes you already had. Instead of spending all that eighteen dollars, you could use that money to buy something else you may need, like eighteen dollars on some some tires or or whatever. Or just you can hold out, you know, saying until you can get the money to um, get you a new set of um 
Max Life shoes. So, like I said, once you have five or six tanks after you run and um, do your clutch maintenance, just remember, you do some 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 files. Like I said, I got these from Harbor, a place called Harbor Freight. But, you know, they sell them all at Lowe's, Home Depot. So, like I said, if you don't have no Harbor Freight, they just Harbor Freight down here. They just sell, you know, good tools for discounted prices for cheap. So, just give you a 12-pack of um, files. And just remember, after that six tank go on you, you know, take your clutch bell off your engine. And... Um, check your clutch your clutch shoes like I said if you have birds on them like this have those little metal places on them like that um, just take your file and just take your file Just file that down. After you file it down, just keep filing. It'll come off. It's just gonna say you just say you time for it. Have to get some more shoes, you know. And you can use these shoes until you get your new ones in. So see, see how it came off? that come down it'll, it'll come smooth just file it down so you're trying to eventually get them to look like like this right here smooth on the edges like those and they'll like I said they'll at least give you six more tanks on the same shoes you want to be smooth like that so just a little good little tip. Save you some money. And at least can, you know, hold you out until you can get some new new shoes. Cause I know those, these Rex 28s, they fast. They got a whole lot of bottom end to these engines. And there's a whole lot of torque on your clutch shoes. So like I said, that's a good way to um keep your shoes good and fresh and keeping, you know what I'm saying, to keep the motor pulling like it's supposed to pull and keep the clutches to engage the way they're supposed to engage and like I say those little birds they'll get if you don't file them down they'll get hung up on your flywheel, wheel and then it'll make your clutches won't grab like they're supposed to or you can tell it when you know saying when they won't grab it like they do when they're new they'll get hung up on your flywheel like with them birds on it like that so so you want them to just file that down so you get a smooth engagement when you accelerate the clutch shoes gonna come out like this all of them gonna come out like that so with them birds on them it get caught up on this on the flywheel either one let it come back in all the way which will make your engine run on if it don't come back in all the way to idle to flat and make an engine run on so file them down get that off there like i said you can use your shoes again at least five or six more tanks so it's a good little tip i don't know why i keep giving y'all all my secrets man but this tip right here like i said is real good just hold you over and get you through a race or get you through a bash session you know a bash se session until you can get some more clutch shoes so like I say, man, just go to Harbor Freight or either go to Home Depot. Find you some some needle, some um, they call them needle files, some files, twelve piece set, all on different sizes and shapes, so you can get whatever angle you need to get on your shoes to get them off and get them flat. All these different shapes and sizes of files you can, you can um use to get those burrs off your clutch shoes. So, again, this is Cole Jordan with TTR Racing with Reds Racing. 
I got a new molar too, y'all. Check this out. Show y'all something. Y'all need to check these reds out now. Got a new little, new little something, something. All five R. So. Clean. So. So, yeah. Yep. Made in Italy. Made in Italy. Mario Rossi. Got his tattoo on the side. On the mountain. On the motor mount. So yeah. Got a new little little little, little something something little, new little power plant. But um yeah man, like I said, main thing is like I said, after about five or six tanks, man, just go check over these clutch shoes make sure these little birds like that make sure they off the shoes file them off file that off that right there file that off your shoes you want it flat like this side you want it smooth and flat like that side so just file them down get them flat they're gonna look like these. Smooth, both ends. Like I said, you can get six more gallons, I mean six more tanks off the same shoes that you have. Cause uh, like I said, I know that Rex Legend, they, they hard, they fast motors, a lot of bottom end, and they, like I said, I know they, they hard on them clutch shoes. So, but um, just do that, man. Save you a little bit of money, and you can get through your bash session. Bash session and you're racing and you don't have to worry about you know spending your money out on you know on new clutch shoes until you, you know saying it's time for you to get some more until you had the money to get some more so getting this core drone with ttr racing like i say i always treat people the way you want to be treated and remember the soul the seeds you sow is what you're going to get back the seeds you plant in the ground is that what you're going you know if you plant it in good soil you're going to get good good vegetables good fruit so Plant good seed, you're going to get good seed back. Plant bad seed, bad fruit, bad vegetables, bad coming. What goes around comes around. So, hey, treat people the way they want to be treated. Treat people the way you want to be treated. All right, y'all. This is Joe with TTR Racing. Remember to comment, subscribe. Leave me some questions, comments. Ask me some questions. I enjoy, you know, um, conversating with y'all. So, talk back to me. Let me know what's up. All right, y'all. Good night.